Hey guys, I'm here with Denitra, and I'm going to do a coloring tutorial for you using my Pro Markers. Um, <clears throat> I showed you guys this card last night, and I want to show you guys how I got her skin tone. Um, it's sort of a washed, sort of like a washed out, muted kind of skin tone, sort of dusty like. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to do a sandy brown hair tutorial using similar colors from the skin. So for the skin, you're going to need tan, blush, and ivory. Um, depending on the look, the exact look you want, it uh, determines how much of each color you're going to use. Um, I like a, a real dark shading, so I'm probably going to do a really dark on the tan color. If you're new to this, uh, you know, combination, sort of, because as you can see, these colors are very contrasting, um, start off with a little bit of the dark color, and then if you want it darker, you can always go back and add right on top. Um, so one thing about alcohol-based markers, the, um, the more you go over a color, the darker it's going to get. So that would, that helps when you don't want to spend, you know, a whole bunch at one time. Just get a few colors, and then if you want it darker, just just go over it a couple times. Okay, so that's all of the tan. Um, then I'm going to go in with blush, and I'm going to go over the tan and into the white. Okay, I'm going to go into the white um, quite a bit. And it, it will blend, you guys. I know it doesn't look like it's going to, but it will. Um, <clears throat> and don't forget, you are going to be adding the ivory color on top, too. So that's going to give us more of our skin tone color. Mm -hmm. okay. If I can swing it, I'm going to try to get in uh, the sandy brown hair color because I think that color of hair goes good with um, <coughs> with the skin tone. Of course any color would. Black definitely would because the skin is so light with that contrast of the dark hair it looks good. Okay. <coughs> and you can see that it's kind of coming together. So now we're going to go in with our ivory. Um, it has a yellow tint to it. And now we're going to go over everything we just colored. You can do blush <coughs> if you want. I stay away from blush because I'm not that good at it. I never know what shade of pink to use. So I'm not going to add blush. Or any sort of rosy cheek. If you don't have markers, you can always substitute these shades um, in your um, color pencil. Just find some colors that are remotely the same. <coughs> and uh, always work from light to dark when I'm using color pencils. So um, that's something you can try to do. Okay, excuse me, the chair is squeaky. So hopefully you can see that. Give a nice blend. Okay, um, now let's go on to the hair. Uh, I forgot to color in her little, her chest here, so it's just a little bit of an area showing. Okay. Okay, for the hair, I'm going to be using the same colors, except for blush. Um, I'm going to be using tan, ivory, and I'm going to add in a cinnamon, <coughs> which is a darker color. This color is a nice color for skin blending as well, uh, for a darker tan color. Um, I'll do a tutorial on a darker tan color um, next <coughs> in another video. But 
Um, so we're gonna start off with cinnamon. I'm, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this. <coughs> just wherever I think it's gonna be darkest. I'm gonna try to add very minimum of this color. Um, because she has curls, she's gonna have light spots within her curls. So I'm gonna try to do that right. I have no clue how to color curls. Okay, that is all of this cinnamon color for now. Um, next thing I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my ivory. And I'm going over the cinnamon and into the white just a little bit, just to get rid of that line. And down here, I'm just kind of coloring over wherever there's white spaces. Um, now that I'm looking at it, at this point, you're not going to need much tan. Um, I'm going to give her strands of hair using the tan, and so I'm going to take the chisel end of the pro marker. Um, the Copics have a chiseled end too, um, but you don't have to use the chiseled end if you have Copic markers. You could just use the brush, the brush tip, um, and that's because it has that that point. Um, the pro markers don't have a point on this end; it's rounded. So your lines will be a lot thicker. If you want thin lines, use the chis chisel tip. And all I'm going to do is with a light hand, I'm just going to add in just some, I'm doing like this. Okay. And you can go over your light your lightest area with this as well. It's not going to blend too much anyway. And I'm going to go in with cinnamon and do just a few down in her curls. And on top. And you, at this point you don't even have to blend that either you guys if you don't want to. Um, I am, because I'm a little anal about that, so. Okay. So to me, that looks sort of like a sandy brown. I'm going to hold it up to the camera. Excuse me, squeaking. That's my lamp. Okay, so you see here it's um, a whole lot darker. I'm actually going to go in with my tan 